Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. As 2023 comes to a close, and as all the companies have now released their latest, greatest, and final iterations, we can now make our final judgment. Which one is the best RAW editor for 2023? That's what we're going to be answering in today's video. As always, we do this video for two reasons. First, it is to recognize a company's innovations and achievements that may go unnoticed in the never-ending deluge of new releases and updates. Second, it is to help the viewers make better informed purchasing decisions. For this review, we edited around 50 photos across all editors in the same way to come to a satisfactory conclusion based on the following criteria ordered by priority. The first criteria is tone adjustment performance. The raw editor's tools should deliver visually pleasing results, precisely targeting tones and recovering detail even in badly exposed areas. The second criteria is masking capability. The editor should include intuitive tools for the creation of precise masks and allow for high quality adjustments to be made in masked areas. The third criteria is other features. This covers any feature that augments and enhances the editing experience, such as an intuitive user interface or photo management features. The final criteria is price. The raw editor should offer great value relative to its feature set. As always, we will be doing a slideshow comparison of raw editing results so you can be the final judge on which editor is the best. For this year, we will be doing the slideshow comparison as a separate video following this video. So do watch out for that. Now let's move on to our list. At number five is Photomator. Photomator makes its debut on this year's list Quite an achievement given that its desktop app was only launched this past May. In terms of price, Photomator has the cheapest subscription plan, costing only $25 a year. You can also subscribe for $5 a month or purchase a perpetual license for $99. The plan includes Photomator for the Mac, iPad, and iPhone. In case you didn't know, Photomator is exclusive to Apple devices. In terms of editing performance, Photomator's tools perform solidly, delivering natural looking color, great detail recovery, and fast performance. Its array of tone and color adjustment tools, which include shadows, highlights, brightness, clarity, HSL, and curves, to name a few, are available for both global and local adjustments. Its user interface, in my view, is the best designed as it is the easiest to understand, the simplest to use, while being fast and fluid. The star feature of Photometer, of course, is its AI masking, which works just as quickly and precisely as Lightroom's and reduces the need for tedious brushing. With all those great attributes, why is Photometer only at number 5? Being a newly launched product, Photometer has a few notable shortcomings. The first is it lacks a brush with edge detection. A brush is still necessary as its AI masking does fail, as you can see here, and not every object can be covered by select subject or select sky, such as these adjacent persons. In those cases, you need a brush with edge detection for precise and accurate masking, and that's something Photometer lacks. The second shortcoming of Photometer is the lack of photo management features. It is the only app in this list which does not support number rating or photo search using EXIF metadata. Photometer relies on Apple Photos for its photo management. The third shortcoming is the lack of dynamic range in certain tools. It is the only editor on this list that could not adequately recover details in the lamps of this image, 
nor could it remove the extreme red cast satisfactorily even after moving the slider to maximum. Finally, it has no haze adjustment tool and its black stool does not work as well as its peers. So that is Photomator at number five. Let's move on to number four. At number four is On One Photo Raw 2024. On One Photo Raw has been and still is one of the best value raw editors around. As of this video, On One costs $75 for a perpetual license, which is the cheapest among editors in this list. You can also purchase an $8 a month subscription. The upgrade price for On One is currently set at $60. In 2023, On One made substantial moves to correct flaws in the previous version. These include simplifying the interface to remove redundant buttons, improving the search UI, improving photo browsing performance, revamping the highlight adjustment, and integrating Brilliance AI, an automatic editing tool. That's a lot of upgrades and improvements. In terms of editing performance, On Once is very good. The tone adjustments are characterized by natural looking color and great detail recovery. As mentioned, its highlights adjustment has been improved and now works more effectively in bringing back detail in an overly bright sky in a pleasing manner. So why is On One ahead of Photomator? In terms of masking tools, On One's masking brush has built-in edge detection, which allows for precise masking of objects. Photomator does not. On One also has AI object masking in the form of Super Select AI, which while not the most accurate, goes a long way in speeding up the editing process. Photomator has no AI object masking, which limits the scope of its masking tools. On One has also the more comprehensive and feature-filled photo manager, which supports ratings and search using EXIF data. Such basic photo management functionality is not supported by Photomator. In 2023, On One introduced Brilliance AI, a tool which utilizes AI to make automatic tone adjustments with just one click. As you can see, it works really well. In fact, I was satisfied enough with Brilliance AI that I used it in the majority of my On One edits which you're going to see in the slideshow comparison video. So with those good attributes, is there any reason to choose Photomator over On One? Certainly yes. Despite the latest improvements, On One's UI still remains the most complicated among its peers in this list, and that includes Photomator. Too many steps are required for even the most basic tasks. In this example, to perform an HSL adjustment, you have to do the following. Click on the Effects tab, choose Add Filters. From a menu of 32 options, choose Color Enhancer. That's a lot of steps for such a basic operation as an HSL adjustment. Not a very intuitive workflow. So that is on one at number four. Let's move on to number three. At number three is DxO Photolab 7. DxO Photolab 7 costs $230 for a perpetual license with no subscription option. Upgrading DxO reduces the price to $109. For 2023, DxO's main improvement was a revamped local adjustment UI, which is now implemented as a panel instead of a small dialog making it much easier to work with. Another improvement was DxO introduced HSL local adjustments, which means HSL adjustments can now be used within masks. Previously, HSL was only available as a global adjustment. In terms of adjustment performance, DxOs are very effective. Its tools are characterized by rich color and excellent detail recovery. Compared to On One, it has the superior blacks adjustment, 
which is able to reveal detail in very dark areas. Its micro contrast tool also works better than on once in enhancing local contrast and revealing detail. DxO's user interface is also more elegantly designed, more intuitive, and snappier than on once. In terms of local masking, DxO's unique masking tools, control line and control point, allow you to create precise masks on complicated subjects without the need for tedious brushing. The star tools of DxO, of course, are its noise reduction and haze adjustment, which far and away are the best in raw editing and better than on once. Its Deep Prime XD noise reduction, which I have discussed at length in previous videos, works impressively in both recovering color and smoothening out high ISO images. With those good characteristics, is there any reason to choose On1 over DxO? Yes, you may like the more natural colors of On1, as DxO has a greater tendency to produce exaggerated color that while it may look rich and vibrant, does not represent the actual scene. You may also like On1's ability to edit iPhone RAW files. DxO does not support browsing nor editing of iPhone RAW files. Or you may like On1's Super Select AI masking over DxO's control line and control point. Finally, you may prefer On1 for its rock bottom price, which is less than half that of DxO. So that is DxO at number three. Let's move on to number two. At number two is Capture One Pro. Capture One Pro costs $299 for a perpetual license and $180 per year subscription or $24 per month subscription. To upgrade Capture One, the price is reduced to $180. Capture One also has a unique loyalty program wherein it will give you a free perpetual license after a five-year subscription. In 2023, Capture One's main achievement was to integrate AI masking, which supercharges its workflow. So why is Capture One ahead of DxO? In terms of tone adjustment performance, Capture One's tools target tones better than DxO. You can get away with Capture One's global adjustments a lot more than with DxO's global adjustments. In addition, Capture One delivers the sharper images and the better looking color than DxO. In fact, Capture One's sharpening, in my view, is the best among raw editors. In terms of local adjustments, the standout feature is also the newest, AI masking. Capture One's AI masking allows for precise masks to be created far more easily and in less time than DxO's masking. Capture One's masking brush, which is now less important because its AI tools work so well, is also a lot better than DxO's brush tool. Other differentiating features of Capture One over DxO include its color editor, which includes a special panel for skin tones, its more powerful photo manager, which allows for more sophisticated search, its support for iPhone raw images and video, which are formats DxO cannot handle. With all those great attributes, is there any reason to choose DxO? Yes, you might prefer DxO's much lower price, which is 30% less than Capture One's, and even more when comparing the upgrade price. DxO has also the far superior noise reduction, haze removal, and clarity adjustment tools, which have much weaker performance in Capture One. And that brings us to the number one raw editor of the year, and that is Adobe Lightroom. The cheapest Lightroom plan costs $120 per year, subscription only. In terms of adjustment performance, Lightroom's tools are excellent, delivering accurate tone targeting, excellent color, strong detail recovery, second only to Capture One's in performance and image quality, in my view. 
Lightroom, along with Capture One, is also one of the few editors where you can get away with just global adjustments because of its excellent global adjustment quality. So why is Lightroom ahead of Capture One? First reason is price. Capture One, as of this writing, has a 50% higher subscription price than Lightroom. Another reason is its AI masking is better than Capture One's. Lightroom allows for automatic selection of sky, people, and portrait features like hair, eyes, teeth, and clothes. In Capture One, you have to manually click or drag a rectangle over these elements to mask. These multitude of automatic selections allow for more flexibility when batch editing your images. In 2023, Lightroom released two new features which differentiate it from Capture One and the rest of the competition. In April, Adobe released AI Noise Reduction, which is a vast improvement over its traditional noise reduction and something Capture One has no answer for. In October, Adobe released its Lens Blur feature, which impressively mimics a real bokeh making your subjects really stand out as if it was taken with an expensive lens. Other advantages of Lightroom over Capture One include its better photo management, which is snappier and is a more powerful search. It's better clarity tool, which is more effective in bringing out detail and is less prone to artifacts. Finally, the Lightroom subscription plan also includes access to Photoshop and Lightroom Mobile. Note that in Capture One, the mobile app is purchased separately from the desktop app, further widening the value gap with Lightroom. With all these advantages, is there any reason to choose Capture One? Certainly yes. You might prefer Capture One's image quality, which delivers sharper images and better color rendition than Lightroom's. You might also dislike Lightroom's subscription model and not care for Photoshop or mobile editing. You might prefer Capture One's perpetual license, which periodically goes on sale at 30% off, and that would make Capture One much cheaper than Lightroom if you just upgrade every two years or more. So those are the top five raw editors for 2023. Congratulations to all the winners and to Adobe Lightroom. But we are not done yet, as in the next video, we'll be doing a slideshow comparison so you can be the final judge on which one is the best editor. See you in that video, and if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.